One time more later. What happened? Um, well, when and where are we? Well, we're in 2011, I think, on the Pacific coast of Tohoku. What happened? Uh, what is called the 2011 Tohoku earthquake, or the Great East Japan earthquake. Oh, where was the damage occurring in the surrounding areas? Um, in... Miyaku, Ofunato, Ishonmaki, and... Soma. What were the uh what were the damage in those areas? In those areas. Um the magnitude in Miyako was eight point five mag a magnitude of eight point five. In Soma it was nine point three in Ishinomaki, it was 7.6, and in Ofunato, it was 8. Oh, good to know. What was the magnitude? 9. Uh, what was the focus? The focus was... The focus was... Three thirty eight point five hundred and ten degrees north to hundred and forty two point seven hundred and ninety two degrees east. Godzilla! Godzilla! Uh, what was the epic epic epicenter? Epicenter. Thirty eight point 510 degrees north and 142.792 degrees east. And for the focus, it was 24.4 kilometers. Did I mention that? What was a detailed explanation? Give me a detailed explanation of the theory of tectonic plates. And what caused the earthquake? Okay, well, what caused the earthquake, well, it was a mega thrust up earthquake, meaning that the tension between two plates broke and one of them, instead of continuing to go down, it went straight up and it burst a bunch of water into the air, making a tsunami. Well, oh. not into the air, but up above the ocean. And uh, the theory of plate tectonics is that the Earth consists of many, many plates. Like, well, a lot of plates, like the North American plate and the one to Fuka plate. What was the description of fault or plate boundary? Including the type of fault or plate boundary. Um, the plate boundary were, um, the plate boundary was... Wait, what? What'd you ask? A description of the fault or plate boundary, including the type of fault or plate boundary. Okay, a description of the fault was it was subducting, and then what happened to it was, yeah, basically it was subducting, and then it stopped, and it popped back up because there was a little gully, and then it was being pushed together. They are being pushed together and there was a little gully that would form because it was bending downward. <laughs> and then, what happened was, basically, it snapped and it rose a bunch of water upwards making a tsunami. Godzilla! Mow. Okay, what are the positive and negative effects? But first, uh, but first, what things can occur at each of these boundaries in addition to earthquakes? Okay, the major fault types 
are convergent, divergent, and transform. Transform, slide past each other, convergent, converge, or come together, and divergent, se separate. Oh, good to know. What's the description of the major fault types? Well, you just explained that. Sure, never mind. So never mind. What are the positive and negative effects of the earthquakes to each Earth system? Well, in the geosphere, you should know plenty about that since you're the Earth major. But anyways, so what happened was, t positively, was, was that in the geosphere, lots of rocks were broken, and also, so, okay, so lots of rocks were broken, and let me shake. Um, just let me think for a second. Okay, well, I've got something now. Okay, so positive effect of the geosphere was all that tension was released so there won't be another big earthquake for quite some time but the negative effect was was it might have cracked to the bottom of the ocean a positive effect on the hydrosphere is that lots of water came out of there and hence it can now be used to give fish air instead of just being in a trench. And a negative effect was that it might have killed some things that produce oxygen in the bottom of the ocean. In the atmosphere, it was negative because it produced a lot of dust. But on the positive side, on the positive side, in the atmosphere, the atmosphere gained a lot of dust, so then the dust might grab other things down from the air and in the biosphere uh, the negative thing was it probably killed a lot of things but in the positive side underwater lots of things should now have more space to live instead of being in a pit and what are human so what are humans doing to help the victims well financial support has gone to them and also helping them rebuild their homes and helping finding them. And what research can be done to improve earthquake safety in the future? Well, we can develop more earthquake-proof buildings, hence they won't fall down as much in an earthquake, and also it won't fall down in an earthquake. Let me think. And they can educate people about earthquakes and earthquake safety. Any more questions? No, not really. Okay then. So now we gotta figure out how to get back. Yeah, I guess. But actually, it's cool. We're in the modern. Day. We've went on like five thousand years or something. I have no idea. Even though it has a helicopter, I have no idea how far in the future we went. So never mind.